There are around 4 million people in the world living with dementia and brain-related visual impairment. So for many years, people with this condition have been complaining about their inability to read. The funding was critical to help us transform a piece of software that we had into a real product that people could use. And it was co-produced from beginning to end. And this is very important because only people living with the condition can understand, truly understand what they need. The Space Project is a, is a three-year research project that's looking particularly at the different pathways by which different factors of our urban environment, so that's our towns and cities where we live, how that impacts on healthy ageing. We aim to have academic publications, of course, but ultimately it's much better to be able to impact upon policy. Really critical to have money available for this sort of research because it's what's providing the evidence base for future urban planning. Already the project has helped us massively, like we've already been able to, you know, get new members of staff in, we've been able to completely scale up what we were doing. Before we started this project we didn't even have a studio in place, we didn't even have a hardware supplier. It also allowed us to, to get additional funding from venture capitalists and from business angels. The benefits for, for those individuals who go through the treatment, it can change their life. They can go back to work, they can feel comfortable in the social environment. In the northwest, we have some of the lowest figures around all sorts of different markers of health. This project and the funding from UKRI has been able to start that conversation, build that relationship with the employers, build their confidence and just allow us to work with them to come up with solutions. So we're really interested in increasing participation in arts and cultural activities in order to increase uh, social connectivity for older people. We think that we will have national and hopefully international impacts as well from this project and so the UKRI funding has just enabled us to, to do the project and to do it really well and very ethically. The name of the project is Flexible Homes and we're trying to build flexibility in, into the housing design. If the home was, was better designed then we wouldn't have that huge burden on, on the NHS. It's really, really important for us to test with the people in the neighbourhood what it is that's going to help people live more productively for longer. And that's testing products, uh, services, and creating a model that will allow people in Scotland uh, and across the UK and hopefully across Europe as well to thrive as they age. We've got a major ageing population it isn't going to change, that's the way most of the world is right now and people require hands-on support. There's too much pressure on the NHS, there's a lot of pressure on social care and we need innovative, scalable solutions that can come from people who really want to make a social difference. Mm -hmm.